Hi right, guys, another episode of Can It Be Faked. We are going to be looking at desktop software, app, whatever you want to call it. This can also be used on laptops as well. Now, if you guys like this stuff, let me know. Give it a thumbs up. Comment like crazy. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. Hit the notification button. Let's get to it. I want to try to make this video as short as possible. I want to try to make all videos like this as short as possible. Just get to the point. So, here we have something that is popular. Not Maybe not this one specifically, but it is out there. There are many others. Basically, they're all the same. I'm just using this because I know this one a little better. But anyhow, uh, ITC. Intermental transcommunication. This is a very popular thing. I used to see this uh, a lot quite a few years ago. People still use this uh, or others like it where they're just sitting at home and they're like, oh, I want to do something paranormal, you know, and go live, show stuff like this. They get a word. It's just a random word just thrown out there. And they're like, oh, hey, I'm speaking to a spirit. And then they try and ask a bunch of questions. Most of the questions they ask, you know, have nothing to do with anything that's that's popping up. And then they go from leading, which they go from leading basically, hey, I'm live, let's use this. And as soon as the first word pops up, they're no longer leading. They're following and trying to connect dots that just are not there. Just random words being thrown out there. Now, I have to question stuff like this. Um, and there's also the Ovilus. Um, it's It works basically the same. But what I want to know is, how the hell do spirits know how, how this stuff works? If you are at a location and a ghost is like 100 freaking years old, never seen technology like this before, how, how do they know how this works? Now... As far as I know, there's no directions within the software for ghosts to look at and be like, oh, that's how it works. This is what I need to do. Uh, I've been told that, oh, it uses EMF. Well, how does a ghost know how much EMF is needed to generate the word that it is looking for to communicate with you? It doesn't make sense. It, it, it really doesn't. Um, and quite honestly, that's all these things are, are word generators. Now, I'm not gonna sit here and say, no, ghosts can't use this kind of stuff. It's impossible. I, I can't say that for sure. But what I can say is 99.9% .9 of the time, there is no communication going on with spirits using these. Um, now with apps, I'm not going to go too much into cell phone apps, but it kind of applies as well. When it comes to cell phone apps, a lot of these apps will say, oh, we, we use sensors on your phone. No, not happening. It may use the same sensor that is used for your GPS. Maybe. But no, it's not using any sensors. Um, anyhow, I need to stop rambling. Let's do this. So this particular um, piece of software I heard about back in 2016 didn't know anything about it didn't care about it to be quite honest and um, then I seen it in action at a location and I was not very impressed um, the people who were using it were like oh no it's so accurate and and nobody knows how it works it's 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 all phonetics well that's bullshit too um, this actually <laughs> this is not the first time I've actually done a video like this on this software specifically in fact this piece of software got me in trouble and I was told oh you can no longer be a part of this so and so's upset and they're crying so you know you're relieved of those duties like, I don't care <laughs> like I really didn't care um, I just went to show that at the end of the day they only cared about one thing and one thing only. Uh, anyhow, 
Matt had actually seen this being run at the Monroe House, Matt Benton, Devil's Hours production. Uh, and we kind of laughed because we're like, there's a, there's a word bank. And we were told, no, there's no word bank. It's all phonetics. No, there has to be a word bank. Like, it, it's not going to work if there's not a word bank. Um, couldn't take it serious. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to run this. And talk at the same time. So, can something, can this be fake? Can can we manipulate this? And I have seen this done, so I do know it can be. Can we manipulate this to make it say what we want it to say? So if I take it to a location, we'll, we'll just, I'm throwing one out there. So I say Waverly Hills, okay? So I know a lot of stories about Waverly, Waverly Hills, uh, the spirit of Timmy, uh, something they call the creeper. Um, there was a lot of deaths, stuff like that. So can I, oh, frame, oh my God, frame, what frame? Oh my God, I got frames over here. Anyways, so can I go ahead and manipulate and do my own word bank take it with me go live or film it and make you guys believe that this is like legit what i'm getting here is legit i'm talking to spirits um spoiler alert absolutely i can delete this entire word list and i will do that and um make it say whatever i want so what i'm gonna do is I'm going to go ahead and make a, a very short word list. I'm not going to show how that's done. I'm sure some people are going to figure it out. Um, but I also don't want to give other people an idea. So hopefully you guys share the shit out of this. Because I know there's going to be people out there who are going to see this. And they're going to take it out at a location. And make you guys think that they are actually communicating with something. So... I'm going to go ahead, edit this word list, and we'll see what happens. All right, so I went ahead, did my own list. <clears throat> Let's see. Now, it may take time for words to actually come up, only because it's a much shorter list. Um, I could probably fix that, but I really don't want to. I just want to show that this absolutely can be done. There we go. Play. Play. Room. All right. Cool. It's obviously, there's no communication here going on. So play in room. So here's, I'll highlight it. Try to. There's play. Here's room. Probably hard for you guys to see. I will go ahead and blow this up a little more. I'm on the right one here. There we go. Hopefully that's a little better for you guys. So, yeah, it may take longer to throw some words out there, but, uh, again, we got play, we got room. So, yes, obviously this can be manipulated to work in our favor. So this is basically set up as if I was at, like, Waverly Hills. Here comes another word, ball. So, huh. Now, we could, we could again just playing off of this wait a minute you know play room ball there's a ball in a room maybe maybe he wants to play ball in 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 whatever room that we have shot and so we we're like well you know it was a hospital we'll see what else comes up here now while that's doing that, it's funny. I'm actually looking for my other phone here. Hang on. 
All right, quite a bit of time has passed. Uh, I had to stop this recording because I wanted to find the app. And then, oh, well, I knew I had the app, but I had to charge this phone. So anyways, the perilous, okay? Anyone can take a screenshot of that without any words in there. They can put it through video editing software, find text that matches, which is really easy, and use it and claim that they're getting communication that has everything to do with whatever it is they may be doing or to that location. It's pretty simple. So go in, type in whatever I want, turn it into a movie, put it on the phone, set my phone up to where the screen won't rotate if I turn it in a certain direction. And there you go. You can do it that way or take that screenshot and make many photos of that screenshot and throw them on the phone. And all they got to do is, you know, when they're not in front of the camera, kind of flip through and show oh hey look what i got guys there's that way of doing it as well now somebody's gonna say well there's voice coming out of there that is easy to find online i can find that with ease i'm not going to do that in this video again i want to try to make this as short as possible um or the investigator can say oh i have the phone turned down so also some of these apps claim that they use the sensors I can assure you it does not add this magnet it is not a lot of these apps claim that they use the phone's sensors and they just they don't let me shut this phone off I do need to let it charge so obviously proving that this can be faked so guys not exactly the greatest video in the world now it's 4 30 in the morning 4 31 in the morning and i'm really tired um i need to hurry up and get a lot of content out um i have been very busy and right now i have time where i can actually get more done uh so obviously this can be faked we can take this program we can put it on a laptop take it to a location Again, such as Waverly Hills, uh, I can go do research, find out everything about, you know, what's been going on there, even even putting in people's names. And viewers would think that this is legitimate communication. It's real. And yeah, so. Anyhow, I know not the most exciting video in the world, but again, I want to hurry up, do this while I have time. I have another one I need to do. I believe that one will be on spirit boxes. Can that be faked? Uh, I will be doing another one, um, hopefully, anyways, specifically on apps for the phone. I kind of showed a little bit that well, just with one anyways, I should probably go through and download more that no, these apps are not using sensors on the phone or anything like that. And I'll go f into further detail as to why they don't. There's a lot more to that. There are certain permissions and licenses and, and so on needed to access certain sensors on a phone. So anyhow, guys, I know kind of boring whatever but hopefully you guys get something out of that oh wow it said hung am i unzipped <laughs>